Hello and welcome to another update video about HBAR. HBAR, um, Hedera Hashgraph. I made an update video or my first video about it actually the end of December. That was on the 28th of December. Um, and yeah, we can see today a little bit of upside. And I think that was sort of related to Elon Musk's tweet of the HBAR symbol. Um, but overall, uh, nothing, um, nothing crazy happening here on the chart. So we haven't made a higher high or anything. So again, I take you through it. This is basically still the chart as I had it. I haven't changed it at all. This is still the chart from the 28th of December. Um, where were we on the 28th of December? Let's take a look. We were on the 28th of December. Do, 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 do. Here. We were here. Yeah. And um, obviously in that video, I already showed you my target area here where the price would be landing. And as if it was magic, we did actually land exactly in this area, sitting between the 88.7 FIB level and the 78.6. We talked about this price area back then. Um, that was my first video about HBAR. I talked about a nice upside potential in 2022. Um, and uh, yeah, we can currently see, obviously after an initial drop, yeah, so I talked about this area that we would first have to finish the correction of this ABC correction um, in which we are maybe completed it already but it's too early to talk about that um but yeah overall what what we did here was a wave one had here a wave two so if i zoom out a little bit more you can actually see that um, edera made a larger wave one here back in march 21 then moved down in a wave two what this is now is a sub wave one in my view um and here a wave two yeah that counts as long as we stay above 13 cents 14 cents if we do not stay above this, then all this would be, would probably just be a wave B and this a wave C. Pretty much that would then be the same count as Bitcoin, yeah. Um, because yeah, what you would then have is if we break this 13 cent level, so then basically this wave two here would be invalidated. Um, and yeah, we would need to look at something different because then if we move lower than 13 cents, then whatever we do then would become the new wave two. And all of this here would be an ABC correction like Bitcoin chart at the moment. It's not the case at the moment. This is a another additional one and a, dish, uh, a wave two within this. You've got your ABC. All right. So we talked about this target area. Let's zoom in. That was reached perfectly. You can see that all the way with the accuracy of um, I don't know, a cent. I don't know, you can see my blue target area here. You can see that the price did come down to 18 and a half cents, whatever. Um, and it touched exactly the support line here of the blue target area. And we have seen a reaction to it, moved out, moved back in again, made a higher low. And today with um, Elon Musk's tweet, we saw quite an impulsive move up. So let us go to the four hour chart where we might see a little bit more. Is this sustainable or not? Probably not. I mean, we see nice volume. We see nice volume. It's fairly impulsive, but look at the wick. Yeah, it, we're just still in a downtrend, aren't we? We are still in a downtrend. And even though we had here a very long wick to the upside, I took it all the way up to 26 cents. Um, it still didn't make a higher high. Yeah, it still didn't make a higher high. It get it was getting overboard on the one hour chart. And therefore, you now see quite a lot of uh, yeah, you had this strong reaction. I mean, to be fair, it's still continuing that way. It has actually made its way above the 78.6 FIP level at 28, uh, 23 cents again. So it's currently holding above it. It left basically my target area again. I'm skeptical about this long week to the upside, but maybe it just indicates that the buyers weren't quite ready yet, but there are buyers there. I think it could push the price higher going forward. This looks quite impulsive, what we have seen here. Yeah, very, very strong to the upside and is actually one of the most interesting uh, ones that I've seen so far. But overall, the H bar one, if you zoom out, you currently still see only a lower high. So what the price now needs to do, and that is very important, it needs to make a higher high. It needs to break above 26, 27 cents. Well, actually 27. So if it breaks above 27 cents, I put on the chart here, then we can, I think, expect further rising prices. It would make higher highs here. Then what we could be seeing here, is potentially here a wave one and that this could be a wave two and we are now already in the wave three yeah for that however we now need to see a five wave structure to the upside can't see it yet um, but it's looking interesting you know with with that tweet today and everything it's uh, 
putting a lot of attention on HBAR. And uh, yeah, so far, I mean, so far it's done what it needs to do. You know, it did come into the blue target area. Everything worked out perfectly. It's now leaving the target area again, and it could now be on the way to my next target area up here. See where that is. That is landing or sitting between uh, 83 cents and $1. Yeah, that is what I expect for the next wave three. That would be what logically has to happen after that uh, wave two here is complete. Then we go obviously into this wave three area. Let me go to the daily chart. We might then see it a little bit better. Ah, there you go. Yeah, we might move then up here into this, obviously not in a straight line, but to be fair, it happened like that before, right? It nearly moves up in a straight line before it comes down again. What you then expect is this move up, um, a move down in a wave four. Where that is gonna land is pure speculation. At this stage, we need to see how far up the wave three is coming, then wave four correction, then you get your wave five. But bear in mind, this will only be this higher degree wave three, yeah? So bear in mind, we've got a wave one here, in March, a wave two in July, another wave one in September, a wave two in February. Um, and uh, you know, this, this sort of purple wave structure needs to finish first. This is the wave three in white. After that, you get a wave four in white down and a wave five in white to the upside. So that could push, is, push it really, really into nice price ranges. Therefore, the current price range for HBAR is very interesting. I know not everybody likes it, because some larger companies are involved, it's not decentralized and so on. But in the end, um, we're here also to make money. And for me, this is an interesting crypto. That, that's why I made so far two videos on it. And the first one, end of December, and I talked about the potential in 2022. Find it attractive, you know, um, of course, everyone needs to decide, decide that for themselves. I'm not recommending this cryptocurrency. It's only what I do. I'm not t continuously dollar cost, cost averaging in, but I bought a couple of positions here and I'm deciding to you know, to hold it. And especially if um, Elon is involved now, that could be the next, could it be the next Dogecoin? I don't know, probably not, but um, it's certainly uh, making an interesting shift, doesn't it? And it's still very much in the beginning of this potential uptrend. Could the price drop lower? Certainly it could. Uh, if we take a look on the four day chart here, we are still in the bearish range, yeah. But what is looking a little bit different to other cryptos that we have seen here, a strong reduction in the selling momentum on the four day chart. So we could see a bullish crossover here soon. Last time that happened, we moved to new all time highs. Okay. On the four day chart and on the weekly chart as well, even though it's not very convincing yet, there needs to happen a little bit more. Um, we need to see a bit more upside potential here on the indicators on the weekly chart, but so far looking promising, not confirmed that the downtrend is over at all, but so far it's made what it needs to do. And at any point in time from here, I do expect the turnaround could prices drop lower? Yes, I think if Bitcoin does another crazy move down, then we could even drop to 14 cents here. Personally, that might actually be it. That might actually be it. Um, you can even see how the downtrend is slowing down here by looking at this lower low. Then you had a lower low, which obviously was not that much lower anymore. And now we've made a first higher low. So it's a good indicator that we could that the low could be in, but it's too early to say that everybody who's going in now needs to understand that prices could drop lower again. The price could ab absolutely go into uh, the blue target area again. But then again, you know, how realistic is it that you get the absolute low already, maybe split it in different batches and, and you know, dollar cost average in at the current prices. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just sit it out. I think we are certainly going to see higher prices at some point here. And uh, it could go all the way up to a dollar in the next wave up. So hopefully you liked the update. Um, if you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. And if you really like the content, maybe check out the channel membership. Uh, you can get then access to Discord, Telegram, and a weekly live stream. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.